I was asked to speak briefly about how to best advocate for your best diabetes care. My first suggestion is on your initial appointment, ask your doctor if there are any diabetes teams that you can make an appointment with to make sure you're getting wraparound care, including education on diet and lifestyle choices. Another underlooked resource for diabetes care is your diabetes educator pharmacist. Check your CDA website, your Canadian Diabetes Association website, or call your local office to find out if they've got any certified diabetes educator pharmacists available and make an appointment. The benefit of having a pharmacist on your team is pharmacists are the most accessible healthcare professionals. So if you've got a certified diabetes educator who is your pharmacy, you can make appointments regularly. You can usually get a question answered in, with a very quick phone call and you can have a member of your team that is readily accessible at any time. Make sure in your initial appointment with your certified diabetes educator pharmacist that you're discussing drug costs and what drug programs are available for you to cover the cost of drugs going forward. Initial medications may be very inexpensive, but it's important to have this paperwork done early on to ensure that if you are suggested to go on a more expensive medication, there's no hesitation because of drug costs. Also, make sure you make appointments with that educator regularly so you have some account an accountability partner. If you've got an accountability partner, you're going to be more successful for the long-term journey of diabetes. Preparing for your diabetes visit, whether it is in-person or virtual, can help you make the most of the time you have with your healthcare provider. Your clinic, health centre or hospital may have a website or checklist they've provided with instructions on how to get ready for your visit. It may even include a list of what to bring to your appointment. Various provincial government health websites, like British Columbia and Alberta, and medical association sites, like the Ontario Medical Association, have reliable general guidance on preparing for medical visits. You can also check out the resource called Preparing for Your Diabetes Visit, available on the Diabetes Canada website. It provides suggestions for materials that might be helpful for you to bring to your visit, such as a list of your medications, a record of your blood sugar readings, and a food and activity log. When you have these things available at your appointment to review with your provider, they can help inform your care plan. If you come across an interesting book, research article, report, or handout about diabetes, or about a diabetes medication, device, product, or service that you have questions about, feel free to bring it to your appointment to discuss with your provider. This can open a door to discussions about potentially new and different management tools and strategies that could help you to optimize your health and quality of life. Diabetes Canada produces world-class clinical practice guidelines that are intended to provide evidence-based recommendations on diabetes prevention and treatment to clinicians, people living with diabetes, and caregivers. Each chapter of the guidelines has a key messages section specifically for those with diabetes. This information can help provide you with best practice recommendations in diabetes management and can arm you with material to chat about with your provider. There is also an array of tools and handouts available on the Clinical Practice Guidelines website for people with diabetes to access. It can help to have these printed out or loaded on your phone if you want to ask your provider about certain aspects of your care that are addressed in the handout. For example, if you wish to discuss diabetes tests and are wondering if you are due for any for recommendations, having the My Diabetes Care, not just about blood sugars resource handy is helpful as it can guide a conversation with your provider in the appointment. You may have other needs or concerns that you want to address with your provider at your diabetes appointment, like your housing situation, your ability to procure food or medication, your mental health, or the status of other conditions you may be living with. We know that a person's ability to live well with diabetes depends on so many factors. So it's completely relevant in the diabetes visit to talk about all the things that help or hinder your ability to manage. The Diabetes Resource Manual is a great go-to for information about all kinds of programs and services. Write down any questions you come up with as you're browsing this manual to bring up with your provider at your appointment. 
An excellent clinical conversation guide was developed by a Canadian group called the Type 1 Think Tank Network. It works equally well for people living with type 1 diabetes as it does for type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, or pre-diabetes. If you like, you can print a copy to fill in in the days leading up to your appointment to help structure your visit. The guide asks you to reflect on and record your thoughts on questions like, what is the most important issue to discuss at this visit? What is something I find challenging about managing my diabetes? And how can my diabetes team best help me? These are just a few of many helpful resources out there that can assist with diabetes visit preparation. If you need more, please reach out to Diabetes Canada by phone or email. Don't forget that when it comes to diabetes care, you are in the driver's seat. Your provider is there to offer guidance and direction from the passenger seat. You should feel empowered and supported to prioritize your concerns, ask lots of questions, be involved in your care decisions, and not to feel shy or embarrassed to speak up and make your voice heard. It is important that you feel respected and listened to by your providers. Remember, the expert on how diabetes impacts your life is you.